in socials, people are so caring towards the new people that when you're an absolute beginner or a beginner, you get lots and lots of dancers because okay, yeah. everybody's so welcoming and wants you to stay and have a positive experience and enjoy it. Yeah. And as you get more experience, you perhaps fly a little bit further. So now I regularly dance in Birmingham and Sheffield. And, and you're off tonight to Newcastle. Newcastle. <laughs> so after this interview, people, uh, for the less motivated amongst you, Amanda is driving to Newcastle. <laughs> to dance till dawn. To dance till dawn at a social. And then after that, you're off to Harrogate. Yeah, well, I'm going to be dancing at Newcastle all weekend at their first ever congress, so we're going to go up to support that. Oh, okay. Uh, there's lots of congresses in the south of the world, so Friday through till Monday, generally, you know, in a hotel or a holiday camp, and you go, and there's lots of teachers and lots of workshops. You don't need anyone to go with, and oh, you go, okay. within an hour, you've made new friends, and you get to do lots of workshops and learn from lots of great teachers. Okay. And sounds... dance all night. That sounds amazing. <laughs> Is that, what am I doing? Hey, what? Hey, and it means you can eat cake. <laughs> yeah, as for as much as you want, obviously, with the exercise you do. Yeah, it's really good for your body. Okay, fantastic. What we're going to do, we're going to play uh, another track from uh, Amanda's you know, choice, and she'll tell us what it is after. <laughs> uh, then I'd like to talk a bit more about the kind of educational side of it, because obviously you can't, as a complete rank amateur, go off teaching people. Can. Oh, okay, I'll take that back, <laughs> you can. So, but perhaps, again, we'll learn more about what it does take to get involved fully. So now we've got a track we're not too sure about, but we'll tell you after. <laughs> 